This is your daily news update. I'm Petty Officer Phyllis C. Touristique. The year was 1969. While America focused on its war in Vietnam, tensions with communist North Korea remained high. Containment and observation was still a priority. On April 15th, an unarmed Navy EC-121 with 30 sailors and one Marine took off from Japan. This Navy reconnaissance plane was flying over internationally allowed waters. But still, enemy planes from North Korea shot the 121 down. Everyone on board perished. They died on the job doing something that they did every day. We take that for granted. And hey, we're definitely deployable. We're definitely in the fight. So I'm glad to honor them. And so today, NIOC's annual two-bell ceremony honors 30 sailors and one Marine who died almost four decades ago. Sailors gather to hear the names of each fallen comrade. Being able to read those names off makes them come more alive to you. They're, they have names instead of just being a number of people that were fallen. Lieutenant Commander James Howard Overstreet. It makes you really remember and honor Lieutenant and John hope that other people are remembering their fallen shipmates and that no fallen sailor is ever forgotten. Along with reading names, a bell is rung twice for each fallen service member. The bell also marks the end of a workday, offering time to relax and reflect before taps. Each time we ring it, it's to underline their sacrifice that they made for us. And I hope that if anything were to ever happen to me or the crew that I'm on, that I hope that we also are remembered in this way. The two bell ceremony ends with the dropping of a wreath into the ocean. Like the fallen sailors and marine 37 years ago, this wreath floats away, never to be seen, but never forgotten. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Phyllis C. Touristique.